The past 24 hours have been tough on airports across the Northeast. Now the FAA is warning it may have to issue ground stops and delays because of the low visibility from the smoke. Transportation correspondent Gio Benitez joins me live now for more on this. Gio, what's it like there right now? Hey there, Diane. So yeah, the runway is still very, very smoky here in Newark. And that's what we're seeing at LaGuardia and JFK as well. We're really seeing that all along the Northeast and along the East Coast. I was flying in last night. And I got to tell you, as we were approaching the airport, you couldn't see anything. I mean, it was a total whiteout. You can imagine how difficult that would be for pilots. Uh, our flight was delayed by about an hour and a half because of that visibility. They were slowing traffic into the airport, and they are still doing that today, Diane. Gio, which areas are seeing the biggest impact from these ground stops and, and delays and interruptions? Yeah, so right now, the FAA says that all of the airports in the New York area, those are being affected, of course. Philadelphia, D.C., and also all the way down to Charlotte. Those are all affected. And the FAA actually issued an alert earlier this morning, pausing all flights coming into the Northeast, or at least to LaGuardia Airport, uh, from uh, the Mid-Atlantic and Ohio as well. So we're going to see these issues continue to play out today and into tomorrow. So what should people do if they plan on traveling over the next few days, Gio? So my advice is always take the earliest flight, but especially now, take the earliest flight. And that's because if you have a delay, then at least you give yourself some wiggle room and you can actually get out at a reasonable time. Uh, and it also maybe would prevent a, a cancellation uh, from happening. And if your flight is canceled, you have another opportunity to get on another flight. So just try to get on the earliest possible flight if you can. Good advice as always. Gio Benitez at Newark Airport. Thanks, Gio. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.